Welcome to this game day, Studio 90 from Nashville, Tennessee, where the USA is set to take on Paraguay. We'll hear from midfielder Michael Bradley in a moment, but first some news from the National Soccer Hall of Fame Class of 2011. Kobe Jones, the USA's all-time leading cap winner, Ernie Stewart, a three-time World Cup veteran, and Eddie Pope, a perennial anchor of the U.S. defense for nearly a decade, have been elected to the National Soccer Hall of Fame Class of 2011 on the player ballot. Kobe Jones, a midfielder who starred in U.S. national teams and MLS for nearly two decades, played 164 full international games for the United States, a record that still holds today. Ernie Stewart, a dual American Dutch citizen, first played for the United States at 21 years of age. His career went on to span 14 years, playing 101 full international games for the United States. Eddie Pope's successful career for the United States men's national team includes nine World Cup matches played since 1998 and 82 appearances overall. His first appearance for the men's national team came against Trinidad in November 1996, and the last was against Italy in June of 2006. We're joined now by midfielder Michael Bradley, who played 90 minutes in the USA's 1-1 draw with Argentina on Saturday. Michael, your thoughts on the game? I um, thought it was a, a good game for us. You know, Argentina is a, a really good team. They have a lot of special players. and. To, to play against these kind of teams is, uh, is important for us as we more, move ourselves forward. Paraguay aren't quite the big name like Argentina, but still an excellent team. They made it to the quarterfinals of the 2010 World Cup before losing to Spain. They also have a bunch of players playing around Europe at big clubs. What can you expect from the Paraguay national team tomorrow? I think everybody saw at the World Cup that they're a, a hard-working team. They're organized, um, you know, and, and they combine that with, with a good a good amount of athleticism and, and skill and so you know, we, we know that we're in for a hard game tomorrow night but you know, that's that's what we want. The last time the USA was in Nashville it was 2009 you came out 3-0 winners against Trinidad and Tobago what do you remember about that game here in the Music City? Um, you know, I, I thought from the from the first minute that night we had a, a, a really good way about us we were able to, to get after Trinidad and really impose ourselves on them and you know Obviously, Josie came away with three good goals that night, and so you know, we'll, we'll try to do, uh, to do the same things tomorrow. Ultimately, this game against Argentina and the game against Paraguay are about building the team ahead of the CONCACAF Gold Cup this summer. Where's the team right now, and where do you guys need to get to ahead of the, this busy June? Well, I think we, we, we kind of said to each other at the beginning of this camp that this was, this was the beginning of this cycle, and now uh, you know, we had... You know, we were, we're all proud of what we accomplished uh, at the World Cup. Um, but having said that, there's a real, a real drive and a real motivation uh, amongst us to make sure that now, you know, we're, we don't we're not we don't rest on that, and now we're pushing ourselves forward, and we're you know we're we're really improving as a team. And so that start that started uh, you know last week in training. I thought it carried over to the to the game against Argentina, and now you know we we, we got to put a put another solid performance together tomorrow night and you know just keep ourselves moving forward. All right, Michael, well, thanks for taking the time and good luck in the game against Paraguay. You can see the USA take on Paraguay on March 29th at 7 p.m. Central Time on Fox Soccer and Telefutura. USsoccer.com will have all the highlights afterwards. Thanks for watching.